What's up, folks? Grimmeth here, welcoming you back to... you all back. And me too. I'm welcoming myself back to another one of these... things, where I record my internet browser, inevitably uh, scouring YouTube, and we have ourselves a nice little chat, especially since the last one went over so fucking well. So... what do I feel like discussing? First off... HOLY SHIT, I'VE BEEN UPLOADING A LOT OF so far VIDEOS! I mean, guys, take a look at this. Take a look at this. Alright, alright, let's see what we got here. Over, since, like, I first started uploading, uh, Wynica Pak, back on August 3rd, I have uploaded a total of 51 Civilization videos. It's pretty maddening. Oh, you guys dislike! Why you dislike? Ruffle, ruffle, ruffle like I give a shit. <laughs> I notice uh, people post on the Voltron Army sometimes like, how do I deal with people who keep disliking my videos? And I'm like... <laughs> There's actually like a response that I typed up. Um, actually, I'm gonna scroll through this now. This is the Voltron Army. Yay. It's the main page. This actually takes us to a forum. Uh, help and support. I have no idea where the fuck it is. I tell you what I'll do. Let's look up me. Grimmeth. Right here. Here I am. Let's look up user posts. I know, since I'm just thinking about this. Small town girl. Idiots who don't understand. Ah, oh, here we go. Alright. So the, a the, the OP here was, so I have this idiot who dislikes all my videos because he watches them the second they come out, so they are low quality. I blocked him, but he still dislikes my videos. I reported him to YouTube, but I doubt they will do anything. Dot, dot, dot. I don't have enough backing to get my videos like enough to make a difference. Dot, dot, dot. He just sits there on my channel waiting for a new video and dislikes it. Dot, dot, dot. What should I do? By the way, folks, just... Just, just so we, um, just so we cover this right now. I may offend somebody in this video. It might happen. Just so you all know, it could happen. So my response was, assuming the same person is responsible for your recent spike in dislikes. Solution one: smile every time you upload a video. You've blocked this person meaning she's no longer subscribed to you, so she has to take a few seconds to check your channel, look at what you've uploaded, click on any new videos, and click dislike. She's spending her time on you. Tangent. Time equals money. Money equals the square root of evil. Time equals the square root of evil. Hypothetically, she's spending the square root of evil on you. I consider that a form of flattery. But again, I am Grimmeth, let's try another solution. And, you know, this is what I do here. Um, in the beginning, whenever I uploaded videos, I noticed that whenever things are set to public, they set, take some time processing, and then you might have to deal with people going, Hey! This video no look good! Grimmeth, why you upload shitty video? And I'm like, Fucker! There's a warning up there at the top of the page, you dumb shit! It says the video is still processing, so the quality is lower, you fucking retarded! I can't read! All I do is look at videos, I'm illiterate! My grandkids showed me the buttons! Ah! Like, you're retarded! <laughs> so that's why I do that shit, to save myself the frustration, even though I know I'm in the right. <laughs> so, there's that lovely bit there, folks. I'm glad we had that discussion, that talk. So, yeah, if if there's, like, folks, and I've, you know, gotten, like, chain dislikes before. It's like, ha, Wall Street kid dislike, 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 dislike. Like, I pissed off somebody by writing a snarky comment. Maybe it's somebody I blocked for writing first. Oh, my God. I'm going to keep doing this for as long as I'm fucking uploading videos, I'm sure. <laughs> where, 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 where was my latest first comment? I think it was this video? Yes, this video. First, first, first is, I did it! I did it! I saw your video and I clicked on the link! It 
without really watching the video or anything since I don't have anything valuable to contribute. I I just had to get here as fast as possible to the comments was to die first. Yes, I was the first person to click on your video and actually care enough to comment and type first LOL. I did it. You guys don't know what I'm doing now, and I'm sure you don't. I'm like, fucking, I have my eyes closed, and I'm just flailing my arms in the air like I'm, like an elementary kid, school kid, like I'm fucking eight years old. Like I won the race to the playground during recess. Like, you know how those races went sometimes, folks. Like, but I'm going to be the first to get here, but I'm going to be the first to get there. Hello, 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 hello. Woo, I proved my superiority. I did it, yeah. I'm a kid on my song. Woo. That's probably going to come across as partially intelligible in the actual recording. But I can actually understand myself completely now, and that's a good thing, right, folks? So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe people post first now to see I'll react. You waste my time. <laughs> and they're wasting your time because you're watching this video about me complaining about somebody doing that. I mean, you can read what I wrote. Whee! <laughs> it's ridiculous. You know, I had somebody do that during the Zara series. Oh, great. My, my liked video is finally updated there. Yeah, that's a video on YouTube's main page. I actually just watched that before I started this recording. It was pretty beautiful. Anyway, uh, so yeah. Lots of Civilization 4 videos. Woo! <laughs> And to be honest, I actually tried recording last night as well, after I finished uploading uh, Charlemagne. And, you know, I talked a bit about all the mistakes I made in Charlemagne and how I plan on correcting those, and I diversified the game. And I was playing on different map settings, so I make a continents map, and it's going to be a large continents map, and there's going to be 10 AI, and it's going to be epic speed. And the first game I play, I get Tokugawa, and I'm like, okay, I'll keep with Toku. Why not? I'll showcase why he's the arguably the worst leader in the game. Certainly very difficult to play as him, especially on Immortal, as you have no crutch to help carry you through the tech tree. And my closest neighbors were Joao of Portugal and Surrey of Varman of the Khmer Empire. And I said... No, not dealing with this. You guys should already know about my feelings for Joao. Surya Varman, yeah, he's a douchebag. So I was like, you know what? Fuck you, game. Especially since you gave me a shitty start. I ain't dealing with this shit. We're gonna start over. It's gonna be another kind of map. And this time, I'm gonna pick my motherfucking leader. So I did. I picked Louis the Fourteenth. He's industrious. And creative. I can't, like, change your screen view right now because I'm motioning my hands through the air as if you can actually see this. But this is important to me. I carry out theatrics as if no one else can see me because it's like I'm performing all the time. It's just one grand performance. Anyway, so I'm like, Louis the Fourteenth, industrious and creative. There's stone nearby. I'm like, oh, this is going to be beautiful. And, you know, my neighbors weren't, weren't Joao and Surrey. They, um, my, uh, my neighbors were Genghis Khan and Shaka. As a matter of fact, they were my only neighbors. That's right, a large continent's map. And I only had two neighbors. <laughs> That means that there was nobody else to attract the hatred of the warmongers because they were both pleased as pie with each other. Oh, yeah. Sometimes, you know, the warmongers will spawn with higher peace weights and they will actually end up being, like, cautious to each other, whatever. You know, the attitudes there can be a bit randomized, but it was not in my favor this time. Oh, I got a private message. Woohoo! By the way, this is my main YouTube page. Uh, there's some videos that show that I've clicked on them, and some other videos that show that I don't cl haven't clicked on them, even though I've watched some of these videos that haven't shown that I clicked on them, because, you know, this is the exact link that carries you from the main page, whatever. Anyway, yeah, I got double declared on. 
I got backstabbed. No warning, just rape train. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to leave this footage. Just kind of raise this for my brain. So, yeah. No more Civ 4 to upload today. Right now, I might end up uh, recording Kudos 2 later on today. I don't know. We'll see. I still got a lot of shit to do today. It's possible. Just taking a break. So, let's let's just check. Who 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 is the lucky asshole who gets to be featured in my personal messages? Okay. Question. Thank Grim and keep having fun. Yeah. He asked, um, or she, I don't know, uh, the differences between, like, Civilization 4 and Civilization 5, and I sent a PM back, like, those are too many, can't really help you, you should consult YouTube for some Let's Plays or a game review site, sides are really biased against Civilization 5, <laughs> I'm also really biased against mods, I actually tried looking at some of that stuff, uh, last night, I did, I did, I, um, I looked into... By the way, this is me. Hi, Grimeth. Yay. I looked into some mods, you know, tried to look around with some stuff. You know, some folks have recommended things like Caveman to Cosmos mod. And I was like, oh, you're actually trying to have my computer commit suicide. I've seen some of, like, how long it takes to, like, finish those games. And I'm like, you're fucking killing me. No, absolutely not. You know, Rise and Fall of Civilization. I've played that before. You know, some other stuff, just not interested. I'm not. The only mod I did download and install, like a mod that I was running last night, is the Beyond the Sword Unaltered Gameplay mod. And actually, I might be able to find that and show that to you guys. Uh, Civ Fanatics... Let's get along over here. Okay. Now, I don't remember the exact link, but theoretically, hypothetically, I should be able to search for uh, the bug mod, and this will eventually take me to where I want to go. Hypothetically. This is probably a retarded idea. I should probably be looking in the mod section somewhere. Oh, well, that's great. That's Caveman the Cosmos. It's Caveman the Cosmos. Yeah, I don't know exactly where it is. <laughs> I forgot. I downloaded it last night, and I forgot. I guess I could check my history. Hold on. All right, that's a success. The bug project. Blah, 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 blah. So you here. You go to this website. Hopefully, I'll remember to add a link in the video description. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can open up a notepad here. Oh my God! You can see like my my, my start menus and stuff. That's so cool. Shorten this here. Copy. Pasta. Yay! Link saved. LOL. So yeah, this is the mod. Uh, makes interface improvements, but does not actually change like the inherent uh, XMLs of the game. Uh, makes things prettier. Uh, makes things more helpful and useful for lazy players, especially lazy players who are recording, so that they don't miss a bunch of shit as I am prone to do whenever fucking just fly into the game. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> didn't really get a chance to use it extensively in uh, my games last night, but I have used the bug mod before, and it's pretty useful. The only uh, drawback here, the main drawback, the only, the main, now I'm just fucking revising my own statements. Revisionist history! The only problem is that uh, it does lack the game more. For really powerful computers, that's not going to be a problem unless you're playing on, like, ginormous marathon maps with, like, 18 sieves. But it's certainly discernible uh, for me on my computers. So that's something you have to keep in mind. But I will add a link to that. It's pretty handy. Pretty spiffy. So, yes. There you go. There's that. So there's a mod. I did install a mod, you people who love to see mods. So you get to see a mod. It's just still going to be the original game. It's a mod that changes the shitty Firaxis user interface. <laughs> I'm playing a mod. <laughs> I'm in your head fucking with your brain. <laughs> Fuck you. So, yeah. Alright. So, there was that. So, maybe I'll record some kudos to later today. Maybe I'll feel like playing Civilization 4 again. Maybe I won't feel like getting screwed again. Maybe I'll just program my opponents so that they're not <laughs> Surya Varmin or Joao. 
So, I guess I decided to bring us to my insight, because, I don't know, maybe I needed some fucking insight. I had a huge spike in views a few days ago. I'm not sure what the fuck caused that. Okay, let's look at the start of this week. The kudos to multiplayer videos. I mean, that shit can attract a lot of views. It's amazing. It's like the most views I've ever gotten. I think it's due to how many Civilization 4 videos I've uploaded. How many long Civilization 4 videos? I mean, seriously. Ah, you guys are being overwhelmed! More people are like, okay, kudos to. I didn't think I would get, like, this many fucking... Like, Uh-oh, it's a video in a video, Inception! Okay. Are you interested in seeing more? Are you not interested in seeing more? Through your input, we may actually achieve some semblance of democracy. I meant kind of like, are you interested in seeing me record more or not? Instead, what I got was, uh, I'm okay. <laughs> I still love that one. We're the rebel, yeah. The people are telling me like, take tell jokes. Um, hang out with lady friends. Stare at the wall. S T A I R. What was this one? You will get beer. It's not spam. It's telling me something to do. What the fuck is wrong with you people? I am suffering under the weight of your so far videos. Now I'm gonna have to deal with comments like, You didn't read my comment. I had to deal with those comments on the last fucking video I did browsing my YouTube. You didn't read my comment forever alone. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. So yes. Do what Grimith does best, eat baby fetus. You know, I've read that before, and that's still retarded. I don't eat baby fetuses. That's gross. What the fuck is wrong with you? Goddamn people on the internet. The fuck? So yes. LOL, Stephen Day, it's nearly... It is nearly my full name. It... Oh, excuse me, yes. It's, XD Stephen Darcy. <laughs> you know, I can make a joke about that. Like, really? XD? That's your first name? That's cool, I guess. Do you moonlight as a rapper? <laughs> no, it's that dumbass face that I've been seeing since fucking 2002 on the fucking internet. Which, you know, whenever I first saw it, I was like, what the fuck does that mean? It's just... <laughs> Gotta pull out some fucking anime translator here. And then you have to deal with fucking statements like moir or boar and I'm like what the fuck does this shit mean <laughs> ah! internet why you no make sense there we go internet why you no make sense why you no make sense why you make dollars no okay <laughs> Uh, I know I can just talk to you guys and some people are going to watch it and enjoy it. Be like, this is however many minutes of entertainment for me because I love to listen to Grimmith. It's not conceited. It's true. I am just as amazed as you are. <laughs> it's like, I do this shit on my own. I have more people actually interested in hearing this. Should I be a stand-up comedian? Great. So, guys, ha, 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 the internet is retarded. End of story. Good joke. Ha ha. Good joke. Okay, go in the Muppets collaborative playlist. The Muppets. Ah. I don't. I don't have anything witty to say to that. Just ha ha. Oh yes. So, while we're going on with uh, various things or what have you, I do have some other things to discuss. First off is this lovely video that Halcyon made for me. Uh, Zeugnis on the YouTube's. Uh, I suppose he didn't make it for me. Uh, of course, he has this irritating fucking view where he doesn't show the videos he's uploaded because he's a douchebag. Uh, I think I've tried to scold him on this before, but whatever. But here, I can look at it through this. I actually had this um, uh, <laughs> on my YouTube like main channel page for a while. Uh, it's a grim, the Grim Dance, apparently. And I'm not going to show this in this video. You're going to have to go look at it. Copy pasta link. 
The link is copy pasted, and hopefully I'll put that in the video description. I'll have these in order of mentioning, so now you guys will have them, okay? I'll, I'll be for you. So yes, it's not that long of a video. You guys want to go see that. It's already gotten a lot of views courtesy of me being awesome and, you know, giving it publicity and whatever. So there you go. You can go do that. Good job. Yay, good job. <laughs> go do that. Pause this video. As a matter of fact, go do that right now. And I'll, I'll add a reminder to myself. Add pause annotation for Grim Dance to force viewers to view aforementioned Grim Dance. Raffle, raffle, raffle. Ha ha, good joke. Okay. <laughs> I'm presuming you guys can't read, you know, again, the illiterate folks out there who are just like, Why is this video shitty quality? That's why I read that out loud for all of you. <laughs> okay, so, what else do I feel like discussing? I need to burn some more of your time. Right, so there's the video, um, Halcyon made. Also, also, where are you, Hugh Dawson? Hugh Dawson? Have you slept with my daughter? <laughs> this is Hugh Dawson's page. Hugh? Uh, once upon a time, you know, he was, he, uh, all he did was just like Door Fortress videos. I mean, let's, let's look back here to the beginning of never in the history of the galaxy, because Hugh hasn't uploaded that many videos, so I can pull this shit. He's played stuff like Discworld Noir as well, but here we are, in the beginning. Okay, we have this, but then we have Door Fortress. And then, let's say what the plan is, yo. More Dwarf Fortress. Discworld Noir. Discworld Noir. And then he, like, dropped off, like, the face of the galaxy. And didn't upload for, like, fucking ever. Then he uploads, like, a few more Dwarf Fortress videos. He tries playing Civilization V for a smidge. He goes back to playing Discworld Noir. I actually collaborated with him a bit on that. You know, some stuff like that. He, he doesn't upload regularly, okay, folks? He tries. He tries. He finished Discworld Noir, as a matter of fact, presuming I'm not retarded and I recall correctly. Um, so, yes. Anyway, that's him. Now, um, I guess it was like two days ago, I started a, um, I guess, a education effort with him in order to teach him how to play the game better, as well as whoever views the channel. You'll notice that I don't really give a whole lot of great instruction in my videos. I just play the motherfucking game, but for someone like him... All he's doing is playing single player, and I'm yelling at him. It's great. It's difficult to hear me in the first session. That is unfortuitous, and of course, he refers to me as Grimth R, which, you know, he used the excuse, That's my YouTube... I mean, that's my YouTube name. Grimth. Grimth R is my YouTube name. That's, that's true. You know what? Yeah, it's fucking true. Great. Great job. You know what? Pull up another example here. Okay. So, if you say, did a co-op collaborative effort with SKS, would you say, Oh, I did this with IOAZ81. Hello, IOAZ81. IOZ81. Say hi, SKS. I mean, you fucking say SKS. I refer to myself as Grimoth. That is me. That is who I am. Grimoth, ah! And you know, segue, side note, I can't go find an example right now because it would take too long. Probably, but sometimes people like it, it's great. Um, if I could find an example of this, it's great. Like, um, you know, whenever you guys post comments on anybody's videos, they get comment notifications about that in their inbox because it's their video. So if you're like posting on that, <coughs> you're like talking to them, so they get the notification. But sometimes people add like that and Grimith R, like, they're specifically addressing me. I, I have no idea why they're doing this, as if they think that the comment box thing is like a chat room. It, it's confusing. I mean, if you're replying to a comment that I wrote originally, then you can do that. But if you just post on the video, I get it. I get it. It's my video. I get it. I get your comment. It's in my inbox, and then I read it. <laughs> And it's been read, and now whether I reply, reply to it, that depends. <laughs> you don't have to put that. You don't have to do it. You don't have to put that, Grimithar. I know, it's me. 
<laughs> it's not like, and they do that without even replying to a message. They're just posting a comment. Stop doing that! Stop what you do! Learn how to use YouTube! <laughs> so yes, anyway, glad we went over that. There's a series, he's only uploaded two videos. Because he's an asshole, and it takes forever for Hugh Dawson, Dunce Cap Dawson, Fail Train Hugh, whatever, to upload these things. And you can try watching them. Some folks had. Ooh. Oh, I've played Civ all these years, thinking that placing cities on rare resources always provided the maximum bonus of mines, farms, tile improvements, and so on. Guess you learn something every day. I like these Grimoth teaches you how to play the game videos. <laughs> Not everyone will. Ah! <laughs> you notice, like, my Grim Rage voice? Yeah, that's perpetual in uh, the videos that I did with you. I'm like, oh, you're doing it wrong! I made a few mistakes too, folks, but it's okay. He's only playing a monarch. I could compensate for that with stellar play in some other aspect of the game. Like murdering everyone with rifles. Okay, so there's that. Also, I'll give another mention. I guess this will be like the impromptu Civilization Four collection of videos. You know how, like, my name is not Lily Tord. He does, like, on his Voltron Army blogs, like, this is everyone forever who is playing Baldur's Gate. <laughs> I guess me, it's going to be like, this is everyone forever who is playing Civilization Four, And then, like, affiliated with the Voltron Army. So let's consult the Let's Play thing here again. And I'm looking for... Well, I'll find it. Okay, here we go. Lord... This guy. <laughs> Icabus. I can't say I've watched his videos. You want to know why? Because he's playing Civilization Four blind. I can't handle that. I know for a fact I couldn't watch it. Couldn't do it. Um, folks who are not that interested or experienced with the game, you know, just want to see somebody having a good time, having fun, you know, they'll like this person as a commentator, that's all fine and well. But me, being as so experienced in the game as I am, I'm sure that would be like experienced players a master of Orion looking at my series going, WHAT THE FUCK IS WRONG WITH YOU? I had people with colonization going, AH, YOU THOUGHT THE HORSES WERE STARVING! And it's like, it's because people told me the horses were starving and dying. What the shit? I was doing it blind! What the fuck am I supposed to know? Throwing horses overboard and shit, so yeah. There is this dude man. Oh, I should also provide a link to Hugh. Shit. Shit. I mean, you could, like, go through my channel, you know, and find his shit. And, like, you know, I'm kind of, like, subscribed to him and everything. But you guys might be too lazy for that shit. Okay. So, let's go ahead and find this. Delete this trash. Oh, I don't, I need that pause annotation thing. Okay. Then we do that. And then we uh, remove this jargon. Jargon. And, you know, notifications, comments. I don't know. I haven't watched the video. This is his channel. He's uploaded 70 videos. Well, there you go. Here's him. If you're interested in seeing more Civilization 4 playthroughs, you got it. He's doing it blind. He's doing it blind! So, uh, I presume I have more knowledge about the game than he does. All right, so there's that. And I'll add little markers for myself. Hugh Dawson, have you slept with my daughter, Hugh? <laughs> and this is Lord... Shit, I did it wrong. Yep. Aha. Cool. Fuck. There we go. That was important. I had to get his name right. And then there's somebody else whom I've already mentioned. Oh my god, I got a new comic. Congratulations, you get mentioned on my videos. Toku was warred into vassalage. Yeah, however, a peace vassal. Are you sure? Are you sure? I was pretty sure he peace vassaled. But, you know, I might have been paying them. I thought that Tokugawa had been weakened through War of Montezuma and then peacefully vassaled Bismarck. But... I presume that you guys would know more about the game as you were paying attention than I would. Um, there's some other comment. Here we go. Why didn't I Golden Age of the Scientist? 
I really wish some people would add timestamps so I could, like, confer at this moment. You see? Ferrothene18, he's got it. That's what I do with my comments. I add, like, timestamps and stuff. Because uh, I would always get comments from people. It's just, like, fucking out of left field. Like, why did you do this? And especially on videos so far in the past. It's like... It really helps to have those timestamps there. Now, you folks are more than welcome to leave whatever comments you want, subject to, you know, pissing me off enough that I fucking block you from the channel. First, I'm first, I made it to the playground, first, I wins. But it's just, like, I would have to comb through the entire video again to find a specific example. If I recall correctly, theoretically, I'm going to answer this comment on here. Theoretically, I think that... You know, I already used a Golden Age, and successive Golden Ages with great people cost more great person points. Since that it's so long, late in the video, I believe I've already used a great person Golden Age with, like, maybe a prophet or something. I don't know. I don't remember exactly. I'd have to call him for the entire video. As it turns out, I don't like to do that. <laughs> Takes time. As I gotta find the exact moment where I had that great scientist. And you know, it might not even be in that video. It could have just been a thought that he had right there, in which case I get to shoot myself in the fucking face. So, alright. And there was one more person that I wanted to show off. So, yeah, I had that comment there. I've already forgotten what the comment was that I read out. If Toby was worn the vest. Oh, there we go. Okay. Right, and you wouldn't consider uh, Napoleon to be a peace vassal either. He was fucking phased in and out of that. Montezuma, I saw that. That was a legitimate war, war vassal. But come the fuck on. Come the fuck on. Tokugawa. Fucking all these warmongers, peace vassal. Even just vassaling, period. Bunch of cowards. You're giving up on the game whenever you peace vassal. Well, I guess you're not. You could, like, I don't know. You could be covert and... Sneaking dupe. It's just, it's just not fair because the player can't ever do that. The player can't ever vassal. Unless you're in a multiplayer situation. The player cannot vassal to the AI. <sighs> player can only vassal to other players. Whatever. Whatever. More unfairness and for access. Whatever. What am I just thinking about? What was I going to do? Alright, this guy. Whom I've already mentioned before. Duffy Z-E-M-U. He's played as the Incans, and he just started uploading videos regarding the Mongols. He actually shows uploads on his shit, unlike... What? Oh, he, he has that video, like, featured. Okay. I was like, what the fuck? Why is that still up there? Because he has the video featured. Okay. So, yeah, he he went through the Incans as Wynikapak on Monarch. He's now doing Kublai Khan on Monarch. Ah, oh, these descriptions are spoilers. Spoilers, don't read them. So yeah, here's him, and apparently some people... Grimoth Froffle Stomp linked you, subbed, and stuff like that. If you're interested in more Civilization videos, you can go look at him. Okay? You can go do that. He's from the United Kingdom, so he speaks differently than I do, but that's okay. Sometimes. <laughs> Alright, there you go. There was that ramble. I've gone on for 33 minutes now. I need a drink of aguas. Hold on. Delicious slurping noises incoming. You might have heard the uh, air bubbles flowing into the bottle better than me actually drinking. Anyway. Should I mention my old age constituency again still crying out for bingo and daggerfall? I could do that. Should I re-plug the Voltron Army forum filled with stuff? Uh, I don't know. I'm like flying through this so fast. I'm gonna like look at the video afterward and like, oh my god, I lost so many frames because I switched it from 30 FPS to 15 because <laughs> my last Camtasia video file was fucking ginormous and I'm like, all I recorded was this. This is bullshit. So anything else that I feel like covering or mentioning? Oh yeah. Axel, Mr. British Gamer, made this. The Voltron Army versus Grimace sign-up thread. Do you have the guts to tango against the Almighty Overlord? The Master of the Whip? The Conqueror of Nations? Oh, just thought of this. Uh, copy link address, and... Duffy! As if I fucking need to... Whatever. 
I'm like plugging individual videos videos here, and then I'm just gonna plug this guy's entire channel. Like, here, all he has is Civilization Four videos. Go. And that should be good enough. Okay, so yes, I suppose I'll end up wanting to copy pasta this as well, just in case you guys are interested in reading this. Although you probably won't be. Do you have the guts to tango against the Almighty Overlord, the Master of the Whip, the Conqueror of Nations? Post here declaring you are a bad enough dude to want to take on Grimmith in his torture that he has chosen to call Civilization Four. Alone? Uh, maybe. With people? Uh, or maybe? I would be in part of another team, I guess. I have no idea why Carlyx is talking like that, but whatever. Uh. Sure, I'll sign up. I suck at it and will have to install, but I guess I can try not to fail too hard. Also, I don't have the expansion, just the original. Might be a problem. It is. Sure, I'll pop in on this. Grimmoth! I demand a rematch! This is the same guy I raffle stomp with Praetorians. Yonsville. Sure, sign me up, cause failing is fun. I'll do it. Eh, I'll pass. <laughs> Notice who said that. Notice who wasn't interested in this thing apparently involving him. Because this person may or may not have appreciated being volunteered for this activity. I like the idea of this. Get one big Skype room going. Why? I don't want to constantly hear every fucking body. Are you nuts? And just watch as everyone backstabs each other and someone ends up like the Native Americans and get apostrophe as fucked. That can't happen during permit alliances. If it was everyone versus Grimoth, fundamentally untrue. But since I'm not participating, any idea when this is happening? Never? You're sure I'll sign up? As long as I can hide behind someone. Notice how... I said no, and people are still signing up. Does this amuse you? <laughs> Whatever. Perhaps, but perhaps not. Still waiting on my microphone. Well, considering Grim doesn't feel up to it, with good reason, to be honest, I still think just a general Civ 4 Voltron game could be dandy. That happens practically every motherfucking day on the Voltron Army TeamSpeak server. Ah! I'd be up for a Voltron Army free-for-all Civ 4 game. Also, I would like to take the time to plug how awesome and amazing crowbars are at everything forever. <laughs> Axiom will understand. Yes, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. So, yes. I don't feel like linking that, but there we go. That was the official super cool, awesome, amazing, ultra pro wizard Jesus Charles Voltron Army vs. Grimace sign up thread. That experience of 1v4 is not happening again because all my secrets were revealed. And they won't let me do that again. They'll like warrior rush me. It'll be terrible. I'll have, like, you know, I'll be all advancing through the tech tree and shit. They'll, like, fucking rush me with warriors, and I'm like, Silly bitches, I build my city on horses. Chariot, chariot, chariot. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Whip, 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 Because <laughs> that's exactly what would happen. I would need, like, a huge map and to stay as far away from them as possible so they couldn't rush me quickly. That's it. Or water, like the archipelago. But no, now that people know what kind of uh, tomfoolery and kidology I'll get into, they'll be like, No! We're not letting him sit back there and tech and manipulate us with his great lighthouse hacks. No, we're gonna kick his ass! And be like, fuck. Because you can't overcome that advantage in the early game. One players versus four players. You have to wait until later. Okay. Closing in on 39 minutes. Anything else I felt like I needed to ramble about? Off the top of my head, if I had a webcam, I could, uh, I could, I could mock Jeff here. <laughs> he had like this "I promise" video that popped up, where uh, he said that I will, with his webcam, I will never, ever, ever, ever. You know how uh, people who make vlogs they do that fucking cutting shit, 
where uh, and they fucking like move their face all around to make it look like ultra cool, but really it just looks like them being dumbasses most of the time. Yeah, if I had a, like a decent enough camera to record a good enough FPS, I would do that. <laughs> it's just like fucking. I thought about that. I was gonna make like a video reply. Hey Jeff, Jeff. Hey Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Hey Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Hey Jeff, Jeff. And just go on for like a minute, and, like say hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, I guess I need to uh, make another reminder to myself. I need to edit the sidebar. I, I put a reminder for that in the last one of these videos that I made. Here, I'll plug it here. Uh, if I can find it in all the Civilization 4 videos. Shit. <laughs> there we go. I was doing it on my own. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to name this one? You're going to make it after all. There we go. <laughs> Love is all around. No need to waste it. You can never tell. Why don't you take it? I think that's how it went. It's been so long since I've seen uh, Mary Tyler Moore show. You're... God damn, I can't type. Gonna make it after all. But that's okay, because you guys can't read anyway. You're literate! Oh my god, Grimace! Why is the processing so bad? Holy shit, fuck, cock, balls, pants in my pants. <laughs> Alright, everyone. I think it's it. I think it takes care of everything. This video is already longer than the... I'm doing it on my own! I did it on my own! Hey, look, guys! I did it on my own again! Raffle, do it in on my own square! No. I really like the. You're gonna make. Why am I reading it in like a troll voice? It was the best of times. Oh! Oh, one more thing. Uh, I gotta mention this. I think. Where did Dewey put that? I'll, um, uh, fucking look him up. Dewey Ocelot? Alright. Just a suggestion. White list. Largo, 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 largo. Troll story time. Yes. And I'll actually link to this as well. So, it was about like a... It was over a week and a half ago. Where, uh... I, I was just, um... Dewey was... T and I were talking with some other people. Flight mode. And I think Jello Snark was in there. Maybe Passacoy. Whatever. It was mainly just Dewey and I. And, um... Uh, talking about, you know, maybe reading a scary story. Scout Freak was in there, because I was doing, like, some, uh, Celebrity Jeopardy parries with Sean Connery. That's not what your mother said last night. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. And so, uh, I was like, well, Dewey, if you find a scary story, I'll read it for you. So instead, he found, like, Reanimator by H.P. Lovecraft, so I decided to do that. And I mixed it up with A Tale of Two Cities. And I started reading them in different... In different voices. So, uh, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. And then I would go and read Animator like this. Okay. So yeah, there's that. And exercise, like, is there any way I can get this story in YouTube uploads or Flash format? Ah? <laughs> no. Not from me. He's like, I have nothing to do while at work. I want to waste more time. I'm like, nope. Can't help you. So yes, I'll mention that as well. That's important enough. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna make it. Oh, I was I was thinking in the song, who can turn the world? No, I'm not gonna sing it now. Who can turn the world on with her smile? I love how I say I'm not gonna do something and then I do it. Who can take a nothing day? And suddenly make it all seem worthwhile. Well, it's you, girl, and you should know it. Oh, I probably shouldn't type that. Ha ha, raffle skates. I need to, like, type my password in order for me to log into the administrative stuff. No, I probably shouldn't, because you could probably... Judging by the, the trajectory of my fingers, you could properly estimate how long my password would be. It's longer than some characters, okay? It's like, this big! It's like as big as my EP. There we go. Good joke. So I'll just type as like, uh, totally not Grimith at all. You're gonna make it after all. 
Oh, name should be doing it on my own. There we go. <laughs> kind of. Hi guys, I'm new. Hey guys, he's new. Fresh blood. Er, I'm a girl. <laughs> That's actually great timing. <laughs> Since you're a girl, you're gonna make it. 